Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, Segment 3. And I uh, want to thank my entire technical crew, Sonny Hirsch. We're real big on community policing. Caps24.org, of course, our website, and TNM.org, where, like, so many of you people are watching the show. I am, like, the latest I looked at was over 85,000. By the time this airs, it'll probably be 90, and it just keeps escalating all the time. Thank you so much. And one of the things that happens when you run afoul of community policing, the police in general, is you get to go to court. You get to meet a judge. And how do people, and you know on this show we've been very big about letting you meet judges and find out what judges do and all the rest of it. And I'm glad to see that there are other people that are starting to write and do things about judges. And I found a blog by, I kept Googling Ninth Judicial Subcircuit, and I kept running across Jack LaHane's blog called for what it's worth. Jax, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for inviting me. My pleasure. And uh, tell me, why did you uh, start doing this blog? Well, uh, a number of reasons. One, there, there is no coverage of judicial races. I, I, uh, I think one of the first posts I put up on the blog uh, a couple years back uh, when I started in 06 was the day after the primary and there had been one news article in the Tribune. There's, there's usually one uh, every election season and then they, uh, make a, they close with a plea for merit selection. And, and, and then they slam somebody. And, uh, you, know, I thought, you know, there's a lot of very good, qualified people that run for judge. Yes, there are. And, and, and they don't get the attention that they, they should get. The races don't get the attention they should get. I've run for judge myself uh, in 94 and 96. I, I did well with the bar associations and terribly with the voters. But it, it seemed to me that, you know, this is the kind of thing, it, I guess I'm a little old to be uh, doing an Eagle Scout project, but this is my, my <laughs> little service, you know, for whatever it's worth. I think it's a great, oh, so that's where the name comes in. Well, actually, no, I think the, uh, the, 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 this turned out to be a lot easier than doing law review articles. I mean, it just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, make, make sure um, you grab copies of Jewish Chicago, which is coming. I don't know if I'm going to do, I, I'm thinking about actually doing a Hanukkah edition this year, but it's definitely coming out before early voting because we do substantial reviews of the judge judicial races. So in each one, you can wrap a three-pound gefilte in it. Okay. So, um, you know, feel free to take one of each and, um, you know, you can see the judicial stuff. But I, I just think it's a privilege to be able to tell people. I mean, it affects so much of people's lives. If you actually have to appear before a judge. And it's so important, too, that, that people have a chance to, to see who they're voting for. I mean, so many people don't even realize that the judicial elections are decided in the primaries. Uh, the last, uh, last time out in 2008, there wasn't a single Republican filed countywide. Uh, in 1996, when I, I ran... There was one Republican filed countywide. He actually got elected because the uh, the Democratic nominee uh, got into some legal problems and had to withdraw from the race. So th I think that may have been the last time a Republican actually got elected uh, countywide. So it, February mm. 2 is it. That's that's November for judges. Yeah, there's no, I mean, that's right. Uh, if you win the Democratic primary, you're in. Right, and I think that uh, you know there are still a couple of Republican uh, uh, subcircuits, although they've be, been tipping more and more competitive recently. Uh, but for the most part, in in certainly in countywide and in most of the subcircuits, whoever wins the Democratic primary will take office in December 2010. And it seems ridiculous to be sitting here in October of 2009 talking about that. Uh, you know, something that's going to happen 13, 14 months from now. But it's really, the, it's really the case. It's true. Yeah, and if people want to improve the quality of, of the judicial experience, and, you know, I actually had a chance to, about, it was, I guess it's close to two years at this point, to sit on a jury and see, see it from another side that I'd never seen it before. It was, it's a, just a fascinating process. And, and it, you know, I've never had that privilege. Uh, I've, I've appeared in front of juries. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's worked out well. And <laughs> well, this is as a lawyer. What, 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 t t t tell people what you do in your uh, real life. Okay, I'm not a journalist. <laughs> I am. Okay. <laughs> I, I, uh, I do a lot of insurance coverage, a lot of appellate work. Yeah. Um, I, I don't do election law. Uh, it's just that this is, I'm a consumer of judicial services. I, I go to court. Yeah. And, and so it's, it's, uh, selfish motive, I suppose, but uh, I would like to see uh, the best possibly qualified men and women uh, being judges because it it makes it makes it easier for a, a practicing lawyer to uh, to succeed. That's you know if if you have a good judge, if you have uh, uh, somebody who understands what's what's going on uh, in your case, who understands the law, who has has uh, uh, knows how to apply it properly. Um, you're going to get the best possible results for your client. You won't always win, 
Um, I'd like to think I could, but uh, you know, it's not no. always going to be the case. But at least you can you can go back to your 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 client and say this is this is what happened and this is why, and it's it's a lot easier to explain when it's it's uh, something that's reasoned as opposed to arbitrary. You know, by the way, I've also uh, seen court as a reporter, and not, not a court reporter, I mean as, as a person actually covering it for newspapers, and that's a whole different experience. So tell me about the reaction. I mean, did, did you, uh, you're obviously getting reaction at, at this point, uh, but, you know, did you start, when you started doing it, did you get reaction right away? Did it take time for people to react to your column? Or? It, it built slowly, uh, but actually by the time we got to the primary in, in 2008, uh, we were getting, uh, you know, a couple thousand hits in that, you know, a day, wow. right, uh, right, right before the election. And what happened was it got picked up uh, by the Capital Facts blog. Uh, they, they, Great. they picked it up uh, uh, so that, you know, you, on that right-hand column there where you have all the different blog postings, whenever I post, it goes up on that. Uh, you have the, uh, uh, the Law Bulletin did a story on, on the blog. Uh, so it's, it's, it's gotten a little bit of publicity, and it's, it's the right kind of publicity. I, I think for years, uh, I don't know if you've had this experience, but, uh, you know, friends would call and say, uh, you know, who are you voting for in the primary? You know, who do you know? And there's, there, there's probably 75,000 lawyers in the state of Illinois, and I, probably two-thirds of them are in Cook County. So there's no way that you know everybody. Uh, so you, uh, I know a friend of mine, he would, he would have a list of about 10 lawyers he'd call, and he would go down the list of, of names of the judges and say, okay, do you know this one? Mm -hmm. How is he? Do you know this one? How is mm -hmm. he? Well, in this blog, uh, we can give you some information uh, about who people are and how are they. And, and, and frankly, I'm not making any endorsements. I'm not uh, out to promote anybody. Uh, I, Republicans, uh, you know, we had Republicans in the fourth sub-circuit last time and uh, in 15. Um, uh, and, you know, happy to put up their information and get, uh, get their messages out as well uh, because this is, this is nonpartisan. As far as I'm concerned, uh, if it were up to me, we'd have an open primary, a nonpartisan primary for judges. Oh, I'd like that. Uh, it, it seems to me to make sense. But, you know, we, we deal with the system we have, and we're going to try and make it work as well as we can. And, and the best way to do that is to get as much information out there as possible. And it's kind of too bad that it's left to, to, to guys like me who, you know, who are doing it kind of amateur hour. But, well, in uh, a way, it's good because, you know, what, one of the nice things about it is you're obviously not making money off this. No. no. I, I know from my own show, <laughs> this costs us money to do. <laughs> we just like it. <laughs> one of the, the things that we did uh, in 2008, and I, I'm, I'm hoping to do it again, uh, I asked, uh, just put it out on the blog. I said, you know, tell, if, put your message in your own words. Uh, and tell us, you know, why you should be a judge. And I had about 25 candidates uh, in the last primary uh, sent in essays and, you know, ran with their pictures. And, and uh, uh, that's, that's a, was a pretty good, uh, I think, a pretty good start for that's the first time cool, out of the box. Actually. You know what? We haven't given people your, uh, where do, if people want to see your blog, I mean, where do they? Uh... Well, uh, it's at uh, Lehane, L-E-Y-H-A-N-E dot blogspot dot com. And uh, you can, you, you know, you can look up Cook County judicial races, and it is popping up uh, pretty Actually, high on the Google search. Judicial subcircuit. I keep, see, I kept seeing your, uh, and you're right near the top of it. Yeah, and so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's gotten a little, a little presence on the web. I think part of it is it's just, uh, you know, it gets some weight because there was you know, a couple hundred posts in 2007, 2008, yeah. and and now it's, uh, it's at the top now. So it's kind of uh, building on itself. Uh, but the, the, the exciting part about it is. Uh, you know, we're going to do it again. We're going to ask people to come in and, and, and give their own statements why they should be judges. And then at the end, we will try and organize each race so that you'll be able to actually comparison shop and, and take a look. You know, in the Ninth Sub-Circuit here uh, where we're sitting right now, you, you, you may have uh, 10, 15 candidates by the time you're done, but you'll be able to click on uh, click through each one and see a picture. If I, if I can get one, uh, you know, you'll be able to click to their essay if, if, if we have one. Uh, click to their video on your show if uh, if, cool. if yeah we're more than happy to cooperate and provide you with all that stuff and, absolutely and and we'll put those up and and so people will be able to 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 weigh the candidates for themselves and decide uh, you know who they think is best qualified and I think that's good for the process and I hope it's it's good for the bench so lahane.blogspot.com is that uh, is that right yeah Okay, I want to thank you very much, Jack Lahane. Thank you, Avi. Being here. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you, and pleasure to be on your show. My pleasure, and I, I look forward to, to, to dealing with you in the future. I want to say thanks to everybody for watching today. Thanks to my entire technical crew, crew Sonny Hirsch. Uh, go to our website, ntnm.org, and you can find 
not just um, Jack Lehane, but you'll find all the different judges we've had over the years and, and judges who are running now. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.